Hi friends, welcome to my paper napkins and an envelope. And this is for the 30 days of paper napkin challenge with Nikki Parr on International Crafters. Don't mind my dogs walking around. So here I have an envelope. I open it up and I am going to put paper napkin on it and that's pretty much all I'm doing folks. So what I do is I grab my glue stick. I put glue all over the front side of my envelope. And Bailey's walking around. Sorry about her nails. They are trimmed back as short as they possibly go. Just, just a little. She's a big dog, I guess that's why. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm not sure what happened here. So, I find my napkin. I don't know why it took so long for me to find that napkin. Um, now Bailey's drinking water. <laughs> so I separate my napkin and I decide on this napkin here. This, all the hearts and kisses and all that kind of stuff kind of a valentine napkin but I thought it was cute so I put my glue stick I'm trying to talk over Bailey's drinking of water all over the napkin so I go all in one direction trying to go all in one direction not to to kink the paper and then when I do the bottom part I try to do one direction I kind of go to the side Bailey lie down I try to go I kind of go to the side and um but I'm trying to get this is, uh, this is what I mean here when I'm kinking the paper a bit because I'm moving I'm going all different directions I gotta go in one direction so those two flaps on the side I do not put glue on them right, right now and then I just nicely put the napkin straight on there and press it down and that's about it so all I have to do now is um, cut the napkin out and um, all along the edges. Make sure my flaps are folded in so I don't cut my edges. I usually just flip it over. I fold my flaps on. I cut all the way around and then I check my edges for any uh, pieces that pop up. If anything sticks up. Right. And now I am just gluing my flaps down and then, or I put some glue on them. I fold the longer piece over I noticed that I did actually go a little up too high and it got a little glue on the end. What I did was I was going to rub it off and I'm thinking, wait, all I have to do is dry it, dry the glue and it won't be sticky anymore. So that's what I do. And this is how I decorate a paper napkin without having to do anything else. No paint, no mess. Um, if I happen to like a napkin a lot, and that's what I can do is use um, a napkin to, um, to decorate my envelope. Just carefully take it apart. You can add a little heat in the areas where the glue is to pull the napkin apart. This is one of the easiest types of napkins to um, take apart uh, with this powder and the way it is. And in fact, I think I um, actually fold a piece of uh, cardstock into a card and kind of make a matching card. Not all the way done, but just using the leftover pieces of napkin. And you can use your imagination of what else you could put on the card. I just thought I'd throw that in there for a little extra. Um, but that's right now I'm just checking my little pieces that are popping up that I was mentioning before and um, just got to put a little bit of glue on the edges and that's it. You can open your glue stick enough so then you can just kind of put it on the side and just you know go along the edges and not get glue everywhere. It's just perfect. It's really not messy at all. It's got a nice um, soft uh, velvety touch because it's a paper napkin. So what I do here, like I said, I fold a card and then I'm going to use, put that in there. But what I'm going to do is I decide, oh, I'm going to make a matching card just because. But I'm not going to totally finish it up. I just thought I'd do it as a suggestion to uh, show you all the possibilities, I suppose. So here I am cutting a piece of trim that matches the napkin off at the bottom. Um, and then I use it on the card just to make it a uh, set, kind of, really. And um, I decide that I'm going to put it on there. It fits on there perfectly. And I'm just going to glue my glue stick on there. And like I said, if you get over the edge where it's too much glue go goes over the edge, it's clear glue, so you just heat use your heat gun to dry it. And then it dries up that glue. But I just put a little bit of an angle, open it up a little bit, put an angle, and the glue doesn't spread everywhere. So it's not making a mess or anything like that. And this was just, I thought, oh, well, let's just make a match, a bit of a matching card. I didn't go, I was going to keep going, but I'm like, I didn't want to get into detail. I am just showing you guys um, an idea, really.
and you guys go with it. So I hope you guys like this. Check out International Crafters. I'll have the link at the end of this video as well as um, in the description, Nikki Parr's links. Bye guys.